It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All right, guys, we are nearing Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh, holy smokes. How did that even happen? I have affordable makeup to blow your mind and impress you because this stuff is all under $5. <laughs> One penny under five, it's still under five. This is stuff from Ulta. This is Sweet and Shimmer. They have this online and I thought it was more of a new brand inside of Ulta, but I feel like this is an Ulta-ish like in-house brand that they brought out for the holidays. Maybe these would make cute stocking stuffers, that kind of a thing. This was at the front of the store when I went in and did a little Ulta shopping recently. I really put this stuff to the test. I got a lot of it. Some of it I love, some of it I really think is a joke. Doesn't surprise me because it's super kind of cheap makeup. We're gonna hop right in. But first, before we do, I wanna make sure that you guys know that even though it is like a very big holiday week, I will still be in the live chat on Style Code Live, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, so come hang out with me. I actually will be in Seattle when the show is on, so I will be snapping from my sister's home and talking to you guys, and I'm sure she's gonna be watching the show with me, so come and hang out with us in the live chat. You'll also find out what my hot product of the week is, so I hope to see you there. Details will be in the description box below. But for now, let's start swatching, touching, playing, talking about all of this way affordable makeup. You know, I try to put my hat of judgment to the side because there have been so many times where I have tried makeup and I have been pleasantly surprised and this was one of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about the item that worked the best for me first. And that is this palette right here. You get five shades in here. This is the Cool Toned Eyeshadow Palette. You open the sucker up and yes, there is kind of an oddball shade in here. The blue kind of doesn't really fit in. I haven't tried this one out. It's not the greatest texture. Um, it is a little bit you know, choppy and all the things you don't really want in a bright blue matte. But if you can ignore this right here, the rest of these shades are gorgeous. This one right here, especially this bronze shade is so easy to put on and have a smoky eye. I'm wearing it in the Scylla sponge video and it just lasted on my eyelids all day long. That was the other thing that I was really impressed with. This shadow stayed put, it didn't crease, it didn't fall, it didn't you know, fade, it just lasted all day long. Every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, dang, $5 shadow is doing a really good job. So this is my favorite as far as the shadow selection goes. They also have one called Neutral, which is pretty okay. I mean, I kind of might think go for Wet n Wild instead of this. I feel like walking on eggshells or one of the larger little pans from Wet n Wild might do you a little bit better because these are more mattes and the metallics in here are not that excellent. But at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not bad. It's surprisingly not bad. There was one that I was just kind of like, uh, I don't think so, and that is this one right here. On what planet, please tell me, is this the warm palette? This is like a smoky palette full of cool tones. But anyway, let's take a look in here, and you'll notice that the uh, spray over on the prettiest shade in here, which actually was what caught my attention, is really kind of just bland and dull underneath and looks very much just like pressed powder. So this whole one, I just do not think is worth the money. Just don't even do it. It's not worth your time. They don't blend well. They don't swatch well. They don't feel good. This one, no. Another one that I would say actually strong pass is this brow on the go kit. Now this one I had hope for because you know brow powder usually you don't have to fuss too much. I mean e.l.f. makes a great brow powder. I usually even use eyeshadow for brow powder sometimes and it doesn't matter what you know if it's high end or just drugstore. So I gave this one a go. It was way way too powdery. So you got a lot of fallout, a lot of things from your eyebrows that you don't want on your face and you don't want powder in your eyebrow to fall on your eyelid either. So I just am gonna say pass on that one. Let's move into lips. This is also what I was wearing in the Scylla sponge video. I will link that below. By the way, I have to give you guys an update on that. Can I just please take a moment and update you guys? Cause so many comments in that video said that I used the sponge wrong and I get it. That video got a ton of views. There's so much curiosity around that product, but I just want to say, 
I still think no matter how you use it, if you use it with a little bit of product, if you pat instead of smear the whole time, I just don't like it. I don't think it gives you as flawless of a finish. And anybody that has met me, especially in real life, knows that I am so meticulous with my makeup, especially on the skin. And I like things blended out with no streaks, nothing showing, like I want flawless, flawless complexion. And I'm just gonna be curious as the months roll on who is going to still be using the product because I just don't see it being a long-term thing. I don't see it turning into the beauty blender. And I just really feel like a lot of people that get sucked into the hype of things, they're not gonna keep using it. Like that's not gonna be their go-to tool because I really feel like it's not an easy product to use. You really have to go the extra mile to make it work. That's just my opinion. I could be totally wrong. But for me, I am still standing by the fact that I. I think it's a fad. I think whether you get a beauty blender or a wedge sponge from the drugstore, I just think that's the better option. Okay, so back to this video. I was just reminded because I was wearing this lipstick in that video. So this one right here from Sweet and Shimmer, it doesn't even have a name because they only have two shades. So I was calling it the berry shade. I think that's what I called it in the description box of that video because this is like, this is a berry shade doesn't have a name. Oh my God. They have a lighter pale pink one that I was wearing in, oh my gosh, what video was that? I had like a furry vest on and I had a bun and a lot of you guys were like, what's on your lips? What's on your lips? What's on your lips? And I kind of wanted to wait until I did this video before I really talked about it because I was testing it out still. But I'm going to say these glosses are awesome. I don't have the other one to hold up and show you because my car is being serviced right now and I loved it so much that it was in the center console and I don't have my car here. So it's a really, really pretty milky pink. I cannot get over the formula for the price. This one, super pigmented, same deal. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, that just happened. Note to self, do not smell dark lip gloss and jam the brush on your nose. Okay, so moving on, these glosses are a total hit. If you are in Ulta and you see them, grab them because they're so good. Now they have a palette that I think is absolutely horrible. I don't like this at all. And the issue that I have with this one is it's very waxy and it doesn't feel good on the lips, but also the colors are not true to what the actual color is. So you'll kind of take the brush and take a little color off the top and what's underneath is not the same as what's represented on the top on a few of the shades in here. And then when you put them on, they are just so bright and not the right kind of tone. Like they just look kind of off. I was wearing one of them earlier and it stained the crap out of my lips and I was trying to wipe it off. And I've put like two other lip products on top trying to fix the situation. Long story short, this is a pass. I am wearing for blush and bronzer today this palette, which is not half bad. This is not one that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the new drugstore favorite. It's so great, but it's not bad. And for the price, I think you get a lot of product. I think it blends pretty well. I like it uh, comparably to the duo from e.l.f. that looks like the Laguna and Orgasm duo, which really this is kind of the same type of a feel. The blush stays on the face a long time, but it's a lot like the Essence blush where initially it's really, really hard to blend in. So you've got to just like roll up your sleeves and have some patience if you're going to be using a product like this because it will take some effort in blending. And it's nothing that I'm going to be reaching for over any of my higher end makeup. So I'm not going to say like, super thumbs up, but again, it's not horrible. Now, when I say like reaching over my high end makeup, you probably are thinking like, you're not gonna reach for any of this, but that's not true. The lip gloss and then that bronze shadow, absolutely, it competes with everything that I have in my vanity organizer behind me. So there are certain things here that I really, I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, amazing. Okay, moving on, we have a couple of kind of touch up products, which I thought was really cool to see this at Ulta and to see it within a little cute kind of a brand like this. We have some Sweet and Shimmer Makeup Remover Swabs. These are so good to keep in your purse. This will fix any type of an emergency situation. If you have a good cry in public, which happens to me actually, Sometimes I just cry. I'm a very emotional, sensitive person and not even like crying over like, oh my God, my life, so many bad things. But I'm the kind of person that if I hear like 
a certain song or I see a certain situation, like I get emotionally touched so easily. And there have been so many times where I will get emotional and I'll literally like look down and like be like, oh my God, I don't want to mess up my makeup. But sometimes you do and you have mascara that kind of wants to sneak away from your eyelashes. And if you have something like this in your car or in your purse, it is the easiest way to clean up a mess. These are also really great if you are a beginner with winged eyeliner, you can crack this kind of open and it disperses a lot of makeup remover. And if you have a mistake, you can really clean up the mistake very quickly. So I think it's cool that they have these. I've seen these from other companies, but they are way more expensive. So for $4.99, I thought not bad. Those are really great. Now they also have these. I don't know if I agree with the price being $4.99 like this. I think you could go to a beauty supply and pick up a ton of spoolies, but I have always talked to you guys about how much I love spoolies. I love them for separating out my lashes if they're too clumpy. I love them for removing the excess on the lower lashes or grooming a brow for, you know, spraying hairspray on one of these and grooming a brow. There's just so much that you can do with a spoolie. Like even if you're doing a beautiful bun on your hair, you have your hair gathered at, you know, your neck and you want everything to be really sleek. You can actually take hairspray or a serum on a spoolie and really smooth things out. So I feel like this is a tool that is so important to have on hand and often overlooked. So if you see this and you're having a hard time, you know, purchasing an item like this elsewhere, grab it because because you need it in your makeup collection to kind of get through those situations where they might come into play and make everything better. So I thought that was really cool as well. Boom. So that is it for Sweet and Shimmer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to come and hang out with me on Style Code Live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Link will be below and it will be like a time warp because I will be in Seattle ready to celebrate Christmas with my family. I'm so excited. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and I hope to hear from you in the comments. I do read everything like a crazy person, so come talk to me in the comments and... I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.